Hi everyone, I am Neelam Chaudhary, your host for the web series Django Project Based Learning. So in this series, we learn Django with the help of the project. But before we jump into today's topic, do me a favor. Give that like button a quick tap. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I can see there are 82.6% of the users who are watching my series but they are not subscribing. So it's a humble request, kindly subscribe to the channel as it will help me to create many more videos. So we'll see how we can create the application within the Django project. So before you want to start with the application, you should have a project with yourself. And if you're starting with a project, you should have a virtual environment with you. If you don't know what is virtual environment, how to create a Django project, kindly go through my previous videos. Okay, so let us begin. Here I am explaining each and every step steps again in detail. From next video onwards, I will not be explaining that I am writing and why I am writing. Okay. So let us see. So let me partition between these commands over here. Okay. So first thing is what to create a virtual environment. You can create a virtual environment with the help of these commands or this command whichever one you want to follow you can follow it first thing is what you should have a virtual wrapper within your system you have to run this command only once from next time onwards you don't have to run this command if you have a virtual wrapper within your system so to install the virtual wrapper the command is you can either follow this command or you can follow this one this will give you the additional features this will give you the basic features Whatever project you are going to do in Django, this command is sufficient. Okay. Next is what? After you have a virtual wrapper with you, you are supposed to create a virtual environment. You can do it with the help of this command if you are following this method or you can create a virtual environment with this command if you have installed the virtual wrapper with the help of this command. Okay. If you see over here, the name that I have written is the name of the virtual environment. So whatever name you want, you can give it. You can give the name as name, env, or whatever you want. So the command is python m dnv name, where then anything that is written in the red color can change depending upon your project. Similar over here also. Okay. Now the next step is to activate the virtual environment. To activate, this is a command if you have installed in this manner, or if you have installed the virtual wrapper with the help of this command, you will activate with the help of this command. Okay. Here, this is the name of the virtual environment that you have given. So once you have created your virtual environment, you are going to work with Django. So you will install Django within your virtual environment. So the command to install Django is pip install Django. Either you follow this approach or this approach, the uh, command to install Django will remain same. Okay. After you have done this, you will create a Django project. So to create a Django project, the command is Django admin start project and the name of the project. Whatever name you want, you can give it. Classes, course, courses, e-commerce, blog, whatever you want, you can give it. Okay. It will change depending upon your project name. Now there are two ways to create a project, which is independent of this particular thing. Anyhow, you create a virtual environment doesn't matter. Okay. So you can create a project with the help of this command or you can create with the help of Django admin start project, the name of the project space dot. The only difference is the directory structure. A little bit difference would be there in the directory structure, which I have already explained in detail in the previous lecture. Okay. In this video also, I will be explaining the same. I will be creating the projects with the help of both the commands. Okay. After this, I will never show it again. Then. If you have created the project with the help of this command, you will go within the folder CD classes. If you have created a, uh, created with the help of this command, you will not do anything. Then to see whether your project is running successfully or not, you will run the server with the help of the command py manage.py run server. Now, if your project is working properly, then you will go and start creating the application. You will stop the server with the help of the command control C. Okay. Now start creating the application. So 
to create the application the command is py or python manage.py start at and whatever name of the application you want to give you can give classes 1 classes 2 or within that you can give app 1 app 2 whatever you want you can give it okay after the application has been created what you are supposed to do django one project can have multiple applications within it so whenever you create an application the django should know you have created the application that is why in the settings.py file we have to register that application if you do not register the application django won't be uh, django will not be able to recognize your application okay so that is why you will go in the settings.py file and you will add your application you will find out this particular statement install app and over there there will be so many applications that will be installed now you will install your application also with the help of this command if you write classes one you will write classes one over here okay then you will save the settings.py file so let us see this practically okay what are the steps create the virtual environment create the django project to create the virtual environment you can follow either this approach or this approach whichever you want i will be following this approach from next video onwards then install django to create the project either follow this approach or this one i will be following this one from the next video then as a beginner you should always check whether your project is running or not okay because many a times you are doing the mistakes in this particular steps your servers are not running and you have started creating the applications okay so as a beginner always always check whether your server is running or not then you create your application if you have created multiple applications register dot, uh, those applications in the settings.py file so your django will know yes you have created that application okay so if the steps are clear let us go towards the practical okay so i am here on my desktop whichever folder you want or whichever directory you want you can go to that particular folder or the directory to create your project okay so suppose i don't have a folder with me i'll create a new folder create app so i will open this folder with the help of the command prompt or with the help of the vs code editor i'm doing with the help of the vs code editor First step is what? To have the virtual wrapper within your system. To install, I will be using this command. Since I already have the virtual wrapper with in, within my system, I'm going to skip this step. Next is to create the virtual environment. So to create the virtual environment, either you can write Python or PY, M, V, N, V, and the name of the virtual environment. Suppose I want to give E, N, V, 1. I will give that name. You can see the virtual environment is started. It will take some time to create the virtual environment. See the virtual environment has been created because I can see the command line over here. Next step is what? To activate the virtual environment. So to activate the virtual environment, what is a step? This is a step. Let me write or the command dot slash the name of the virtual environment slash scripts in it so this will activate my virtual environment you can see after your virtual environment has been activated now you will install django in it with the help of the command pip install django now the django is installed in the virtual environment if you want to check whether it is installed or not you will write the command django admin dash dash version as a beginner, you should always check, okay, whether it is installed correctly or not. Yes, it has been installed. Next thing is what? After that, I will start creating the project. I will be showing this particular approach. And in the end of the lecture, I will show you this approach as well, okay? So, suppose Django admin start project. Suppose I want to give the name of the project as project one only, okay? Project one. This is a name which will change depending upon your own project, okay? So, you can see the project 1 has been created over here. So, as I have said, as a beginner, you should always check whether the project is running successfully or not. 
so to run the project what you are supposed to do you should be in the folder wherever you have a manage.py file so i'm supposed to go inside this folder i will write cd project one so i am inside this particular folder where i have a manage.py file i will run the server with the help of the command py manage.py run server so now the server is running on this particular link you can copy the link or you can do control plus click on this link and it will open See, it is working successfully. Now, I will stop the server with the help of the command Ctrl C. I will be able to see the directory structure again. So, let us create the application. So, to create the application, what is the command? py manage.py start app. Whatever name of the app you want, you can give it. Suppose I want to give app 1. Okay. As soon as I will hit this button, you can see the application 1 has been created within this particular directory project 1. You can come over here. You can see from here as well. So within this create app, project 1 is there. Within the project 1, app 1 has been created. So now the application has been created but the Django does not know that that particular application exists. So for that what you are going to do within your project, project 1, okay, you will see the inner project over here. This is called as a root directory and this is called as inner project. Whenever you create the app project with the help of this command, okay, without space and dot, you will see two, two folders of project 1. Okay. So over here you will come in the settings.py file. And over here, you will add your application that you have just created. So, you can see the install apps and you will write the name of the apps. Either in the single quotes or double quotes, whichever one you prefer. So, what is the name of my application? App1. And just save the settings.py file. And automatically, that application is now included in your project 1. Suppose I want to create one more application, you can do it. You can come over here. Again, you can write down the same command py manage.py and app2. And again, the next application will be created within your project. The app2. Again, if you have created the application, Django should know you have created the application. So go inside the inner project, go in the settings.py file and add that particular application over here. Now, if you'll go to industries, you will see they are writing it differently. What they do, instead of writing over here in the install apps, they create another variable, external, external apps is equal to, they will include these things over here. And over here they will write, Install apps. It's plus. Means install app is a combination of install apps plus external apps like this. So either approach you can follow. You will see this used in the industries. But whenever we are using the small project, you can go with the first approach. So this is how you create the applications within the project. So now if you will see the directory structure of the applications, you will see certain files in it. There is a migration files, which where all the commands related to migrations you can see over here. Second is a init file, which is also another Python package. Okay. Next is admin.py file where you register your tables. And it has an admin panel where we can perform the CRUD operation. It is provided by Django. Apps.py file is basically whenever you want to configure your applications. Models.py file, wherever where you will create your model class and it will be converted into a database with the help of the Django ORM feature. It is to write the tests. 
views.py file is basically where you will write all the business logic related to the code. Now let me show you the second approach to create a Django project. Okay. So either you can use the same terminal or you can open a new terminal. So now if the virtual environment is already activated for you guys, what you will do, you will directly start working with this particular command. If it is not activated, what you will do, you will activate it first. So how you will activate, let me deactivate. So it has been deactivated, so I will activate it. So to activate, I should be in that particular folder, wherever is my virtual environment. So my virtual environment is, is in this folder. So I have to go back one step. So now I'm in that particular folder. After I am in that particular folder, I will do what? I will activate the virtual environment with the help of the command. This, since my virtual environment has been activated now, I will go inside my project or since I want to create a project, I can create over here as well. I will create a project with the help of the command Django admin start project the name of the project suppose i give project two in space and a dot so the only difference would be the directory structure okay can you see the project two has been created so let us have a look at the directory structure so this is a folder that i had created on the desktop when i had created the project one it had an outer project or the root directory folder project one inside that I had another project one folder where I had all my files okay and I had a manage.py file whereas when I have created with the help of the command with a space and a dot the project two has only one folder it has a manage.py file outside and a project two folder which have all the files so in the second approach, what is happening? Now, if I want to run the server, what I will do, I don't have to go inside any particular folder because my manage.py file would be available over here only. So I can run the command py manage.py run server from this particular folder itself. Okay. So now if you want to create an application within the project too, what you can do, you can directly write the command. Uh, let me give act underscore project two and it will create the application within your project two okay so let us see okay. the application two is creating the application two within the project two fine and if you want to create a uh, and next thing is what you should go in your project two in the settings.py file you will add which application you are using otherwise it will never come to know uh, that application also exists over here Either you can use single course or a double course. What is the name of the application app? PR. That's it. Okay. So today we have seen how we can create the applications within the Django project. First is what you should create a virtual environment, activate that virtual environment, then install Django, create a project, then run that project and see whether it is working properly or not and then create your applications and name of the application should be different than that of the project okay remember that whatever name you want to give add it save the settings.py file and you are good to go and before we end today's video kindly like and subscribe my channel so i can bring many more videos for you guys I will be coming with the next video very soon. Bye-bye. Enjoy.